Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks and in this video we're going to go over um, the new St. Patrick's Day event Green Light Festival. Um, so yeah, we have a video, we have a few articles, we have a web mini game uh, to go over, so I guess I'll just hop straight into it by watching the video first that Wargaming released yesterday actually. Um, but it kind of it kind of caught me, you know, unprepared, and I only have uh, the time to to make it now. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's watch the video. Boom! The green light has been given. Join the it has party been given. and the tanks and ride a wave of gifts starting March 14th. Follow okay. the clover, and it will lead you to real emeralds. Real? Every day on the game portal, you can get one random prize, free. Right now, free stuff is always nice. The Shamrock Showdown event is starting in Steel Hunter, with increased battle pass points and special lucky seals. Okay. You get lucky seals simply for playing, for collecting spoils of war, and for capturing the special green marauder. It's hard to find. But it drops a lot of lucky seals. 100 actually. Hunting season is open. Lucky seals. <laughs> hmm, and nice. in random battles, new missions await. Okay. As well as up to 100 battle pass points and additional lucky seals. You can exchange these for the rewards you want. Whether loot it's box. tons of useful resources. Loot box spotted. Um, so you can actually get two of those loot boxes with the resources inside the game. Training manual, credits, bonds, free XP, um, bundle of personal reserves, premium, time side missions, 2D styles, and then some decals. New styles for your tanks, or even two emerald boxes. And if that's not two. enough, check out the bundles with missions for XP and emerald boxes. Okay, so, um, yeah, kind of like the, um, the previous event, right? The previous loot box event. No gold, time side missions instead in those boxes. Um, you have 50, 5, 25, and 150. Boxes, bundles, and emerald boxes. In what them, is you can find right? even more resources, free XP, and okay. So, you will get um, one day, three days of premium reserves. Those, this is like a hundred percent chance, as you can see. This is a guaranteed reward inside the box, and you have a seventy-five percent chance of getting credits and some um, training manuals. So this is like on top of uh, the one hundred percent chance drop. And then you have another 10% chance drop of getting another reward, which is free XP. And on top of that, you have a 2% chance of getting one of the vehicles. So let's go and check which vehicles Premium we have, tanks. right? Instead of reading, instead of reading... The Yagtiga Prototype. Yagtiga Prototype. Forest That's a good one. Spirit. All good Proto one. AMX 30. Emil 1951. I like the Emil. T77. K2. Shar 75, G Sword. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so the Shah Emily is actually one of my personal favorites. It's just crazy. It's ridiculous. It's just a ton of fun um, playing this vehicle, driving around, just popping vehicles on left, right, and center. So you definitely do want uh, this Shah Emily. G Sword 1008 and the Alembic, based on the Astron Rex. Oh. Okay, so this is like the, um, the 3D styled, um, kind of like the Miel. Which is a Borask was in the previous boxes. This time we have the Alembic, which is the Astron Rex. This intricate alchemist's tool was created to obtain the Philosopher's Stone, but in fact, it can do something even better. What Turn can it your do? victories into heaps of credits. <laughs> it is a premium vehicle after all. Love the music. And the main newcomer is the okay. T54D. Okay, T54D. Um, so it kind of reminds me of the T55A, but with. Uh, with spaced armor, I guess. A tier 9 premium tank with a serious L7 cannon and additional screens in oh. all projections. Only the rear is lacking. After all, the tank was bulky enough already. Of course, excess weight never helped anyone become faster, but the Unless armor is worth it, believe us. See for yourself. From March 14th through March 21st, daily prizes on the portal, bundles with emerald boxes, Shamrock Showdown in Steel Hunter and more. Don't miss your lucky seals. Indeed, uh, you can get some boxes with it, right? Um, okay, so this was the video. Very short, actually. Not a lot of info was shown over here. 
just the main points, which I, I can definitely understand. I agree with. That is how it should be. Um, so the T54D, you know, that is a, that is an interesting one. That is an interesting one. We're going to have to go and check out the details, right? See how this vehicle performs statistically wise of the other vehicles, right? The Yank Tiger prototype. Um, I think it's nice. Charmely, amazing, Alembic. It's like the Astro Rex. If you like the Astro Rex, it's going to be um, to, like another one for you if you want. G one thousand and eight. It's an okay vehicle. Like it's it's fun to burst, but uh, the standard pen is just a little lacking these days. You will need to find a lot of gold with this vehicle, and the reload is horrendous. With like forty something second reload for one thousand two hundred damage. Uh, the Emil nineteen fifty one. Very, very close to the regular Emil. Um, so I really like this one. I really enjoy the Emil 1951. T77, you know, it's kind of like your American offloading heavy. T5041, T57 heavy. But at tier 8, uh, Forest Spirit, which is the SC130PM, just with a different style. And the old Proto MX30, which is just a kind of mediocre. Uh, medium. So, T54D. And uh, what else? Yang Tiger prototype, Forest Spirit. I think those are the top, top three with the Charmely, of course. So T fifty four D Charmely, and then either the Yang Tiger prototype or the Forest Spirit. I'd say those are the top three vehicles of this time. Um, but yeah, let's go and check all of the other things, right? All of the details about the the web event, the Steel Hunter, all about the boxes. Um, so yeah, let's go and check the th stuff out. Uh, there we go, Green Light Festival, fight for lucky seals, I shall fight for them every day, I guess, if it's dailies. Um, join the Green Light Festival in a world of tanks, score lucky seals in Steel Hunter and random battles. Exchange lucky seals for two emerald boxes, you don't have to, I mean, you can, you don't have to. Um, in the Shamrock Shop, along with other valuable, like, Days of What Premium Account, Bonds, 2D styles, and more. Emerald boxes can contain premium vehicles, including two brand new ones, it's actually one one brand new vehicle, and then another which is um, a 3D styled Astron Rex. It's the same as they did last time with the Miel, right, which is a Borask, but with a 3D style. So it's actually one brand new one, and then another one that is already inside the game, but without the 3D style. Seize your luck and dive into the festivities. So that's the video that we just checked out earlier. From March 14th, which is today, right now, right this instant, through March 21st, one week, uh, the event is going to run. So, Earn Lucky Seals, Steel Hunter Shamrock Showdown event is the place to find Lucky Seals scattered in large numbers. You can get them by completing the event progression, um, taking opponents out and collecting part of their spoils, picking up loot, and more. So, more and Steel Hunter will go and check that stuff later. Later, all of the Steel Hunter details uh, will be we will check them out soon, TM. Lucky Seals can also be obtained from random battles in a special daily mission. Okay. And what do you do with those seals, you might be asking. Visit the Shamrock Shop. Claim up to two emerald boxes for Lucky Seals in the Shamrock Shop. A special section for the in-game store. Emerald boxes are coveted prizes that may contain premium vehicles. You have a 2% chance, like we saw earlier, um, of getting a premium vehicle, and there's going to be the pity system as usual if you don't get a vehicle in your first 49 boxes, the 50th box will contain a tier 8 or tier 9 premium. So you can get up to two emerald boxes, you can just get some days of what premium account, you can get bonds, credits, and more. Once again, we'll go over all that stuff um, later in the dedicated article section. Open more emerald boxes, in addition to two emerald boxes, you can purchase more of them in the premium shop starting March 14th, with a probability of 2%. An emerald box may contain one of 10 premium vehicles, including two brand new ones. Once again, it's one brand new one and one reskinned. Now I'm open to see the contents. What do we have here? What do we have here? There we go. We can see all of the vehicles now lined up. Lined up in front of us, we have the T-54D Alembic, which is, like I said, Astronex reskinned. Sharamilly, amazing vehicle. G7008, an okay one. Um, Old Proto Mix 30. I mean 1951, I love this one. T77. Forest Spirit, SUPM, right? SU130 PM. Um, the good old SU130 PM. K2 and the Yank Tiger prototype. So those are the vehicles you can get in the boxes. 
And you can also get Days of Premium Account. You're going to get some personal training manuals, training booklets, free XP credits, credit reserves, um, free and crew XP reserves, and some combat XP reserves if you wanted to purchase those boxes. There we go. The new vehicles, though. Get the new premium vehicles. Yes, the T-54D. Okay. It has 390 alpha damage, so it's not like the, um, the T-55A. Which is a 268, it's actually a 268 millimeters of penetration on its standard rounds. That is incredible for a tier 9 medium. Um, 11.1 .1 reload time. Not bad, not bad. Um, 5 degrees of gun depression, like a T54. 0.33 dispersion base. You know, that's pretty accurate for a Russian based vehicle, even though it is considered German. As you can see, the nationality of the vehicle is going to be uh, German. But that's pretty good for a 390 Alpha Russian gun, right? 100 millimeters of hull armor. Um, yeah, if they shoot you in the low plate, it'll go through. I'm actually interested to see if the upper plate can hold up with a spaced armor. Turret armor 240. With a spaced armor, it's going to be very difficult for enemies to go through unless they hit the cupolas. They have 1,600 HP. So overall, it seems like a really, really decent vehicle so far. Um, then you have the Alembic, Astron Rex, you know, the regular stuff. You have the Shara Mili, the G Sub 1008, All Proto MX 30, Emil 1951, T77, Forest Spirit, K2, and the Yang Tiger prototype. But like, the main, the main vehicle in the boxes this time is the T54D, the Tier 9 German medium tank. What else do we have? Okay. Dig for goodies in green fields every day from March 13th through March 21st. Play a little guessing game and extract valuables from the emerald fields below. In green fields, you can only win, and your luck defines how much. Okay, so list of possible rewards. This is like a web event, by the way. You go into the website. I will leave the link below um, for where you can get this stuff. Receive one random reward from the list and five guaranteed cans of green paint. Um, so we have a 2D style that we can get today, a premium decals, fire extinguisher, manual fire extinguisher, that is the small, um, consumable, small first aid kit, small repair kit, and some reserves. So let's, let's do this, right? Okay. Okay. So I know this one. I, I was able to remember only two. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. How many attempts do I have? How many attempts do I have? Oh no. Ah, there we go. Uh, no, there we go. Yes. It was over here. Yes. It was over here. No, it was over here. Yes. It was over here. He's a pussy. Yes. What did he win? Um, click the button below to get a reward. Don't forget to log into the game plan for your reward to be delivered. Okay, so I actually need to log into the game. Um, to get your reward. I will show when the next one is available. Come back and play again. Get my reward. Thank you. Thank you, Wargaming. Um, so, yeah, I'm not gonna go into the game now, leave this area and stuff. I'm just gonna show you right here, right now. Oh my goodness. There we go. This is what I got. This is what I got. Hopefully it's good stuff. Hopefully it's good stuff. Um, but yeah, that is my daily reward. So, what else do we have? Get extra battle pass points and more and use discounts. I love discounts. Um, e every Greenlight Festival day is a lucky one. Gain one and a half times crew XP. Up to seven times per day, get directives and 2D customization elements and make the most of various crew related discounts for the entire duration of the festival. And from March 14th through 21st of March, um, benefit from additional missions in random battles and steel hunter, giving you up to 200 extra battle pass points, which is four levels of the battle pass. So, um, be among the top seven received by base XP earned. You get want branded stamp, which is something. I guess maybe if you get a few of those, there we go. And five of those, and you get directives, you get some decals, and 12 of those. Um, and you get reserves, you get some more decals, and 18 of those, and you get a 2D style, and you get some more reserves. So, pretty nice, pretty um, okay missions over here. And the discounts. So you have a conver better conversion rate of Elite XP to Free XP. That is always nice. Um, if you want to convert... If you want to get the assembly shop vehicles, you know, like we had just recently with a 452k, the best way to pay for those vehicles is with free XP. So use these conversion, like better conversion rates when they are available 
use your gold to convert to free XP, and then you can actually save gold if you do end up uh, getting the assembly shop vehicles, because you should never ever use gold on assembly shop vehicles. Always use free XP and the other uh, resources. It's just going to be a lot cheaper that way. So 50% skill retraining, um, which is nice if you want to retrain one of your crew members. I actually have a lot of retraining orders, so I don't really need that at the moment. So what is this? Free XP to crew XP, I guess, conversion rate. Better conversion rate, 50% off training in the bleh, crew members to 100%, 25% off changing their qualification, like changing from a commander to a radio operator, from a driver to a loader, and to set a and 50% off barrack slots, which is always nice, you know, getting more barrack slots is always lovely. And I guess this is it for this part of the video, right? Enjoy the Green Light Festival and St. Patrick's Day Commanders, and something that I will not try to pronounce because I will just butcher that line completely. Um, but yeah, so... A kind of fun memory game over here where you can get some loot if you like but all of the other details are in the other articles so let's just go and check out the other articles right there we go this is uh, uh, the loot box article released by wargaming an hour ago that is surprising i guess it was updated or something so um from march 14th through the 21st like we said earlier Play in random battles and steal hunter to earn a host of rewards, including up to two emerald boxes, which are the loot boxes this time. Um, in the boxes, you might discover one of ten tier eight to nine premium vehicles. We went over all of that before. You can also get emerald boxes from the in game store and the premium shop, of course. And yeah, let's see what we have. Let us see what we have. So, what is inside? Come in bundles containing 5, 25, 50, or 150 boxes and an equal number of missions for 5 times XP. So I guess those two free boxes, right, that you can get by getting the tokens, the lucky seals, as they are called, um, they will not come with 5 times experience missions. It's like that is what they use to sell you the boxes, the bundles of boxes. Um, so you'll just get the regular rewards in those free boxes without the times 5, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 1 out of 10 premium vehicles, as you can see over here. We went over all of the rewards a couple of times already. T54 D looks amazing so far. I really hope that if I go deeper into the stats, it's not going to disappoint. But yeah. But yes, so from 5,000 to 250,000 free XP with a 10% chance, 75% chance to get crew book or credits, and a 100% chance to get today's award premium, or personal reserves. Every 50 emerald boxes you open, you're guaranteed one of those premium vehicles like i said if you didn't get any vehicle in your first 49 boxes the 50th box is guaranteed to be one of the vehicles that you don't have already like if you have let's say the t77 you cannot get the t77 anymore you'll get one of the other nine vehicles now only drop vehicles that you don't already have in your garage there we go once you have all 10 vehicles the next vehicle drop will grant its value in gold instead so if you have all of the vehicles and you open your 50th box once again, you'll get the value of one of those vehicles in gold instead of a duplicate. Uh, don't open all of your emerald boxes in time, they will open automatically at the end of the event and you will get all of the rewards. As usual, let's meet the mighty and sturdy T54D then. Mighty and sturdy D, okay Wargaming. Um, emerald boxes may drop two fresh premium tanks, one fresh premium tank, each offering engaging play styles. The first newcomer is uh, the T-54D, a tier 9 German medium tank. German. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely not Russian. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, some awesome screenshots of this lovely beast. Of this lovely beast. And let's go over the stats. So. So, we have a 390 alpha damage, um, 268 pen, with regular rounds, 300 with gold rounds, and then you have 53 pen with the HE and 480 damage. So, yeah, you don't get the lovely German HE rounds, you do get kind of like, you know, your regular Russian stuff. 1,600 HP, 40 top speed, 50 reverse speed. Not the most mobile of vehicles, but it does make sense. Um, it's more of a, a heavy medium, right? A heavium, as we call them over here. So you have 40 shells. The shell types are APCR, which is always lovely. Heat 
which is always lovely as the second rounds that go around and a chi so i really like the loadout over here if it was hesh you know like the british use then it would have been perfect but very very good awesome shell velocities as well 1478 with the apc or 1173 with the heat really looking nice really looking nice so far um 0.33 dispersion like i said pretty accurate considering it's a 390 alpha um kind of russian ish medium tank 2.7 second aim time it, it does make sense right it does make sense it is a pretty chunky boy gun um 11.1 .1 reload time and then five degrees of gun depression 20 degrees of gun elevation so so far it seems pretty nice i must say must say concealment of a moving vehicle 11.69 nice concealment of stationary 15.56 so it's not going to be the sneakiest of vehicles um but it's it's not bad as well like you know it's it's not going to be 20 something like the the 416 or whatever but you can still you can still play a bit cheeky from time to time i guess it's not built for it though like it's built for brawling it's built for going forwards dealing damage so yeah i wouldn't set it up as uh, as a sneaky vehicle you have 380 meters of view range it's it's not enough uh these days uh to reach the max right 445 meters view range you will need to use some sort of equipment that enhances the view range if it's optics if it's maybe you can put like vents in the special slot and get enough with a premium consumable but i don't know if it's actually going to be worth it especially like considering you know i said it's a brawling vehicle it's not a sneaky vehicle you can have maybe a second loadout that is going to be a bit more for the free range for the long range sniping but i believe this is mostly going to be a vehicle for close range brawling so hold on 100 millimeters on the front 80 on the side so this can actually be really good for side scraping um 45 in the rear 240 in the turret frontally i don't think there are many things that'll go through this turret unless they hit the capola and 180 in the side add to that the spaced armor and you can actually bounce some things in the side as well and 65 in the rear you won't bounce stuff like that 30 degrees traverse speed not bad not bad at all so 12.9 horsepower per ton uh, uh, 35 degree traverse speed and 40 top speed this vehicle is probably going to need a turbo like i'm, I'm saying it right now this vehicle is definitely not a mobile medium tank um and you might want to even consider using um, an experimental turbo on this one to just improve this mobility as much as you can because it is definitely not impressive it is definitely not an impressive uh mobility wise but yeah overall like i said looks like a very brawly medium kind of like maybe i don't know 430u at tier 10 something like that but with a little less dpm overall i think this vehicle might actually suit my place out so i might be getting this one i might try to get to this one um but yeah this is the t54d let me know in the comments what do you think of this vehicle do you have it do you want it uh yeah let me know in the comments your thoughts and your opinions and let's continue with the video so the t 54 is equipped with a powerful british l7 gun then it could have actually used hash right uh, offers excellent penetration and accuracy with standard apcr shells high velocity together with increased armor protection this is the key feature of the t54d so yes it does have really lovely apcr shells High damage potential enhances the value of each shot, making it a potent force on the battlefield. Max value is firepower. Prioritize well calibrated shots to exploit enemy weaknesses and aim for critical hits. You should always aim for critical hits if you can. Um, you utilize the tank's accuracy to engage targets from a distance, minimizing exposure to return fire. I I don't think that is how you want to play the T54D. Uh, if you could just stay hull down, be more brawly, I think that is going to be a better way to play the T54D but to each their own right if you can make it work by sniping you should do that use the rain to maintain advantageous positions and control engagement ranges we also recommend aiming until the end of the sight circle even if it seems too long so the 2.7 base aim time is is a little too long uh, five degrees of gun depression not as bad as for soviet medium tanks but it's not as comfortable as other vehicles it is like soviet medium tanks five degrees is what you have on 
most of those mediums, on most of those heavies. So if you already have Soviet mediums or heavies, then you should already know how to how to fight with five degrees of gun depression, right? Take this into account as it limits the tank's usability, definitely. I um, highly recommend using vert stabs or fire control system, which is the experimental equipment piece. I definitely agree with that. Vert stabs can really, really help this vehicle. Um, vehicle's gun handling isn't so comfortable, so you should want to be well prepared. You need to be patient with this gun if you want to achieve good results. So even with vert stamps, you should still aim a little longer than usual, right? And shine on the battlefield in the mysterious Alembic, which is the Astron Rex with a 3D style. So we kind of already know about the Astron Rex. It's been in the game for a while now. But this one, this style, um, comes with an eye-catching permanent 3D style and special marks of excellence, as you can see. Looks like it's clovers, right? Is it four leaf clovers? Is it four? It's, no, it's three leaf clovers, but, you know, still pretty funky, pretty funny style. I mean, if you have the Astron Rex, you don't really need this one. If you don't have the Astron Rex, go for it. 3D style Astron Rex um, in the loot boxes. So, boxes might also give you eight rare vehicles with different play styles, like we saw earlier. Sharamali K2, Yang Tiger Prototype, G1008, Emil 1951, T77, Forest Spirit, and All Proto MX30. And yeah, this is it for this part of the video. We went over what we have in the loot boxes, um, and I think we have only. The Steel Hunter, the Steel Hunter article to go over. <clears throat> Red has special combat missions. Yes, 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 yes. So I guess we'll go over to the Steel Hunter. The Steel Hunter article. Let's do this. There we go. We're joining the Steel Hunter Shamrock Showdown event. Commanders, World of Tanks welcomes you to the Green Light Festival. Um, a variety of joyful events. It features green magic and lucky seals, which is this event's currency. Um, especially in game currency, you can earn your Steel Hunter and random battles, like we just said. You also get up to two emerald boxes once again with those lucky seals. You can get two of the new loot boxes for free, right? I mean, you do play, so it's not exactly free. You do spend your time to get those tokens, so um, I don't like calling that free. But you can get two boxes from the new Shamrock Shop, along with valuable rewards like Days of War Premium Account, Bonds, 2D Styles, and more. Hopefully, they'll show us exactly what we can get. Um, in a few seconds. So, so. Now, Steel Hunter Shamrock Shotgun, special edition of our Battle Royale mode, um, is at the heart of the festivities. Engage in adrenaline fueled battles and may the green light guide your path to battle glory. Um, from March 14th, like we said, until March 21st, these are the event prime times on the European servers, EU servers 1 to 3. Um, first day from 6 a.m. UTC plus 2, I think it's um, 5 a.m. Central European time. If I'm not mistaken, it's one hour back if you're in Central European time. Until at 2, and then you have from 8 in the morning, which is 7 Central European time, until 2 a.m. once again, which is 1 a.m. And then on March 21st, from 8, which is 7 Central European time, until 10.30 Central European time. So, what is new? Lucky Seals, a new festival currency. Participate in battles in Steel Hunter mode and gather Lucky Seals. Um, yellow loot has turned green. So, all the yellow loot, which has been the supplies, you know, the uh, special abilities, um, have transformed into green loot. Wait, I, I mixed up. Supplies was actually shells, right? Transformed into the green, which was the abilities consumables, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't play a lot of Steel Hunter. Let me know in the comments. Did I make an oopsie? Let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks to the Shamrock's influence, everything is green today. Good friend, the green loot contains all the essential needs, including lucky seals. So every time you pick up one of those consumables, one of those uh, rings, right? There's green rings spread out throughout the battlefield. Every time you pick up one of those, you will get some lucky seals that you can use later um, to get loot. Exchange lucky seals for rewards. Head to the Shamrock shop to exchange your collected lucky seals for exclusive St. Pat Patrick's Day. Customizations and other items, including two emerald boxes, as you can see. Among the rewards in the Shamrock Shop, you can get two emerald boxes for lucky seals that may contain premium vehicles and other goodies. Um, yeah, the chances of getting premium vehicles in the boxes are very low, like I said, 2% per box until 
until you reach the 50th box, um, which is going to be 100% if you didn't get anything before. What else do we have? Experience rebalanced special vehicles and the green hair hunt. Um, and don't improve the gameplay with our rebalanced lineup of all eight special vehicles. So they rebalanced all of the um, the vehicles inside the Steel Hunter game mode. And brace yourself for an encounter with a rare 404. Very special AI controlled Marauder. Track down and defeat this elusive foe to get a substantial bounty of lucky seals. So um, they added AI to the Steel Hunter. Right, I think it was in the previous iteration. Maybe it was two iterations ago. Anyway, you have hairs, which are kind of light tanks that have run away from you. Just go forwards, just finish them off. The 404, you can recognize it because, you know, it has 404, the name, above the vehicle, but it's also green. It is a green hair that if you finish off and collect the loot, it's going to give you 100 of those lucky seals. So you should definitely, you should definitely um, try to find and finish off those 404s. That is like crazy stuff. Um, extra battle pass points. and Additional battle pass points for your ranking at the end of the battle. You can also earn up to 100 extra points throughout the festival festival from the event's battle missions. So, what are those missions? What are those rewards? Let's go and check. Collect progression points and lucky seals. By performing well and completing daily missions during the event, these points will advance your progression and let you earn various rewards. You also earn credits for completing daily missions. Credits are always nice to get, right? Uh, move the slider or click plus or minus to select a progression stage. Have your cursor over set reward to view more information. So, it's kind of like, you know, another event. It's a progression type of thing like we have in Frontline, like a battle pass of sorts. Every 50, oh, yeah, every 50 um, tokens, seals, whatever you want to call it, you will get another level. So for the first level, you get 100 lucky seals, you get a fire control system, and you get some 20 aim tuning directives. For the second stage, you get 100 lucky seals once again, um, one personal reserve, four credits, three decals. For the third level, you get 100 lucky seals once again, uh, 200 bonds, 200,000 credits. For the fourth, you will get mobility improvement system and 20 fuel filter replacement directives, which are turbo directives. And 100 lucky seals. You're going to get 100 lucky seals in every level, so uh, we're going to put that aside for now. Fifth stage, credit reserves and decals. Sixth, bonds, 200,000 credits. In the seventh, you will get a survival improvement suite and 20 pre battle maintenance directives. In the eighth, you will get credit reserves and 2D style. And then in the final level, which is the ninth level, you will get 200 bonds and 200,000 credits. So overall, you get 900 of those lucky seals. If you complete all the stages, um, which is actually the cost of one emerald box inside the store. So just by completing all the stages, you will get a box if you want to use it on the boxes, of course. You will get fire control system tier one, mobility improvement system tier one, survival improvement suite tier one, um, three credit reserves, 600 bonds, 600,000 credits, some directives, a 2D style, and some decals. And there it is. There it is. This is the 404. Um, how to get lucky seals in Steel Hunter, complete the event's progression stages, like we saw here, 900. Um, collect all types of loot, including spoils of war after defeating enemies. So, if you defeat an enemy, they will drop all of their loot type of thing, you know, kind of like Battle Royale, but you can't really decide on which loot you're picking, so... Um, just pick up whatever they're dropping, and you will get some seals as well. Destroy collect loot from the AI-controlled Marauder, the elusive 404. Spawns only once in each battle. So there's only one 404. Um, in each battle, and they give you 100 lucky seals if you manage to finish them off and collect their loot. So you need to watch out. If you finish them off and someone else steals the loot, they will get the seals. So, uh, yeah, do watch out. Don't let anyone steal it from you. Fight in a platoon. Playing in a platoon mode will bring you a few more lucky seals than playing solo. All earned lucky seals are evenly divided among platoon members. So that is nice. Um... A reason to play in a platoon, I guess. Get more loot, lucky seals from it. Don't double the amount of lucky seals for the day's first battle in any of the eight special vehicles. To activate this bonus, you must place in the top 10 in a solo battle or in the top 7 in a platoon. So, you finish top 10, you get two times the seals um, that you had for the first time with every vehicle. Kind of like how you have times two experience with um, regular vehicles. So, this is times two 
Lucky seals, which is nice. Choose the rewards in the Shamrock Shop. This is what we want to do. In exchange your lucky seals for rewards in special section of the Moods store. Shamrock Shop. You will find the two emerald boxes that you can get. Um, In-game resources, including personal training manual, days of what premium count, times of XP for the vic first victory, and more. New and existing St. Patrick's Day, two decals and decals. Um, you can claim your rewards in the Shamrock Shop until March 22nd. The end of the event, right? March 21st is the last day, so don't forget to use all of your lucky seals before the event is over. Okay, so there we go. There we go. This is the loot that we can get. We can get two emerald loot boxes. We can get one personal training manual. Um, 600,000 credits. You can get 200,000 three times. You can get 400 bonds. Um, 200 two times. You can get 2,000 free XP. 5,000 four times. Bundle of personal reserves. You can get that three times. Um, three days of what premium account. Three times one day. And then you have three five times missions that you can get five times for a total of 15. You can also get four 2D styles and some decals as well if you like, but I I mean, we're all going to get the box, right? We're going to get the boxes, the two boxes first, and then move on to whatever it is that we need. If it's premium time that you need, if it's times five missions, um, a personal training manual, bonds, credits, free XP reserves, whatever you need. 2D styles maybe is something you like. You can get those as well. Um, vehicle rebalancing in the Steel Hunter. All eight special vehicles with neat compatibility has been rebalanced. Will be available from your first battle in the mode. To the Bailang, improved accuracy and penetration values for most guns. Bailang was buffed. Uh, the Beowulf was buffed as well. Increased HP in some vehicle development scenarios. Improved DPM of two guns. Nice. Hurricane slash reduced speed. Decreased top gun damage. I can tell you it's still good. It like if you get the five shell autoloader at the end, it is it is delicious. It is delicious. Um Harbinger decreased auto reload to gun damage. Nerfed Arlequin slightly decreased HP. Improved usability of double shot guns, which is nice. Um but that is like a nerf overall. And yeah, I guess this is all of the info we have. We have the um the vehicles as well. We have the Valkyrie. I think that is what it means. Um, the Raven, the Variag, the Arlequin, the Harbinger, the Bailang, the Hurrigan, and the Beowulf. Those are the eight vehicles that you can play. And like I said, get to the top ten with each vehicle once per day. Get the two times lucky seals. And yeah, then do whatever it is you like to do. But you should you should make use of the two the times two uh, lucky seal you can get in the first top ten of the day. Ha! Huh. Um, but yeah, I think we went over everything, right? Everything uh, that this event has from the uh, the web event, the memory game thing, um, to the new vehicles, the T-54D, the vehicles in the boxes, uh, the video at the start, and now the Shamrock Shop rewards and the Steel Hunter stuff. But yeah, this is it, I guess, for this video. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of the event? Do you did you already have enough of loot box events? Do you like loot box events? You know, like throwing the money, seeing the uh, the gold box open, waiting for the vehicle, right? Um, yeah. Let me know what do you think of the event, of the rewards, of, of everything, right? Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. And yeah, hopefully see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one, people.